Alrighty, we're going to take a look at some work that another electrician did putting in a light switch. The box is off full shallow and the wires are kind of crammed in. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors, however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. And I'm going to show you why not to use such a very shallow box for a commercial grade light switch. See how shallow this box is? So we'll unscrew it, take our cover off here. See how it's bulging out from the back here? They used a extension box rather than a regular uh, wire mold box. So we're going to take this off here. Let's see how they did hooking the switch up. Uh, not bad, but this is a pressure plate connection and they put the wires around the screw. So the, what they do is probably okay, but it's not the greatest. So I'm going to take these wires off. And I'll show you how to reconnect the switch the right way. Well, we got the insulation under the screw on that one. And they didn't close the loop all the way around on the ground wire. See how that's not a good connection? See how the copper sticking up here? So we'll take this box off. It's too shallow. See that's a extension box and you can see how shallow this is. And when you screw your device in, you can see how the uh, wires won't have enough room to sit behind there. You can see there's not room for the wires to sit behind that box. Take this back plate off. And we have another box here with the right type of plate on it. So we'll put it on here. We'll tap it down into just tap it down into place here on power wiring up. And we can hopefully it will fit line up with those holes there. I'll screw it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Make me bend over and get a little exercise and praise your name.
Okay, well, screw it in. Screw it onto the wall properly. Let's see if we have a green screw that will fit in here. If we do, we'll use it. If we don't, we can. We're not going to get frustrated. If it fits, it fits, and we'll use it. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. Let's see if it's going to fit. Yes, it's going to fit. So, bring our ground wire here, get all this debris out of here, we'll bring it down, we'll bring it over, wrap around our green screw, so now we bond our ground to the box, and I'll tap that into the wall so that it's not pushing the box out. So it's nice and flat now. Tighten our screws up. Okay, so now if I had a new box, I would use it, but we don't have one, so we'll just we have what we have. We're not gonna get frustrated. We'll be thankful for what we have. We have a deeper one. You don't piss and moan about what you don't have. You just be thankful for what you have and praise your Heavenly Father and thank Him. Okay, so we'll put our deeper box on here. Make sure we're in the track on our top and our bottom. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we're in our track. Okay, we're going to track all the way around. Now we can hook our new switch up. So we'll open these loops up. Okay, so we have to cut them a little shorter because we're just going under a pressure plate. We don't want it too long. So since this is a single pole switch, 
It doesn't matter which side. Okay, that's the right length. And that's a good length. So first we'll, we'll put our ground wire in around our green screw here. It's nice and tight, like that there. Okay, now we'll flip it over and we'll get our black and white wires under our pressure plates. Get it under our pressure plate like that there. Make sure it's nice and snug. Get our white wire under our pressure plate here. Make sure you don't get your insulation under your uh, terminal. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we can push our wires into our box. We'll push our white down. Push our black this way. This way they don't pinch against anything. Now make sure our ground wire is staying down away from our terminals here. Okay, our ground wire is going down away from everything. We can make sure our screws back in here. Use a short screw here. I'm going to shorten the screw so we don't, because we have a chance of hitting a wire here. So I'll shorten the screw up so we don't hit the wires. Finish that up by hand so I don't strip the hole out. Okay, now just make sure our ground wire is down away from everything and no wires are pinched anywhere, and now we can put our cover back on. We're going to repaint this room. And what we'll do with this box is we'll take some of that metal, like duct tape, we'll just go around here and just cover that up and then paint it. And we'll save this shallow box for when we need an extension somewhere. So we're not gonna throw it away because it will be needed sometime for a uh, shallow extension. So thanks for watching. That is how to properly connect wires to a switch that has a pressure plate back wire terminals piece. Thanks for watching.